In this video, I am going to tell you how to solve the docker daemon not working in docker desktop and what we will be doing is the solution to the actual problem that I faced and how to spin a blazor server container from an existing image after sorting out the problem. So enjoy this video and I would expect you to please go through the entire video to come to the actual solution. and. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. So this time when I reinstalled my Docker desktop for Windows to create some um, Docker images and Docker containers for my fourth, for my course uh, on Docker, existing course on Docker containerized with Blazor, I wanted to make some changes and this is what I happened, you know. When I um, clicked Docker build, like here, I have just created a Docker. I have, uh, uh, by running this Docker build on the T minus T is tag with the test one. This is the I mean tag of the image. The test one is the image name and dot is the Docker file, which is in the same uh, directory as this um, uh, current directory is. So it came up, it ended up with this error. Um, now this error is error during connect, you know. What it said that, again, write it down um, so that you can see what kind of error I had once again. So this is somewhat, this was the more or less the description of that error. And maybe the version was different, but this was uh, the, exactly the uh, rest of the stuff was exactly the same the text so this is what i did you know um i after doing a lot of research i came up with this um, article codebuzz.com docker error debon is not running so there was the issue description and you know they had given a few resolutions now out of the resolutions given um, this was the first one by from start search. Please type in below so it will give services Windows GUI. So I didn't go for that. Instead, I actually ran these two commands. Uh, typed this command on a command prompt net stop com dot docker dot service and net start com dot docker dot service to stop and restart the docker service from the GUI. Anyway, services GUI, services Windows GUI, but it didn't resolve the problem. Okay, I cannot repeat because now the problem is no more there. So now next I bumped up to the resolution 2. So which was using docker cli.exe switch daemon configuration. Now this could be possible that your docker cli is command line instruction is not properly configured for Windows or Linux. Please use the below command. So from PowerShell, what I did was I opened a PowerShell. So for viewing convenience i have opened these two tabs you know this is the uh, browser this is the article that i followed and this is the in the powershell i needed to give browse to this uh, location which i have browsed windows c program files docker docker and here you can see docker command line instruction.exe this is the exe file and here what i did i right clicked and on this um, path I right click and open in Windows terminal okay so uh, here you can see open in Windows terminal right so after giving this command it opened in Windows terminal and I just copied this script okay and then just pasted it okay so anyway and this is I have, I have pasted it several times so anyway so my purpose was to show you that this command actually worked for me hmm? so docker cli.cxe and it actually stopped this error from happening now this error was happening even when my docker desktop for windows was switched on so uh, 
I can show you how it looked like. Docker Windows desktop for Windows. I have reinstalled it because it has got a much improved version and they have changed the agreement for free version. Now they have restricted it to uh, companies with a few number of developers only with few with particular um, annual turnover capacity. That, that is not a problem. So Docker engine was waiting. Okay, so this now the improved version shows all the images. Hmm? If when it is actually it is still not started, engine null. Anyway, uh, so when the engine starts, and if you run this command, it will get rid of all the the problem that I actually enumerated in the beginning. At least for me, this uh, strategy resolution to worked. Okay. So thank you very much for listening and if it does not work you can start with the resolution 3, 4, there are 5 or 5 resolutions are there. So hopefully it will remove your issue. Now before I end this video, now my docker engine has started, you can see this green label is there, engine running and it is now showing all the volume, the my volume and even the images that I have created. Okay. Uh, this is in use and unused okay um, so this was a quick overview for solving any type of uh, for solving this particular problem that I face now if you look at it I can show you uh, I can easily build my um, I can build a container also I can just quickly do the by a docker run command docker run and that image was that I built was test one So docker run command will initialize spin up a container if everything goes all right. Okay, let's see. So you can see here that the container has started already. So it is listening on HTTP colon. This is the port on this on our host 8090 and this is the port on the container so if you browse to look http colon localhost colon 8090 it should show you the blazer server so which I, I can show quickly so you can see on the address bar i have typed localhost colon 8090 and it brings up the blazer app this is a server app so i was able to sort this out i could spin up uh, i could build a docker image from the docker file and i could spin up a container after sorting out the daemon issue thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe to the my channel please put your valuable comments and share with your friends